Hi, Callie. Um, I'm Tremia Appling. I don't know if you recognize me or not, um, but I'm the one on your October video. I did the sign. I was the very last one holding up the sign saying I'm ready to live. And today, I just felt like <laughs> sending you a vid video message. Um, I love your October song. I just got through listening to it again, which makes me cry. Um, and how could it not? Um, the, well, I just wanted to talk to you about what I'm going through. And I do not have cancer. What I have is an autoimmune disease, which is systemic lupus erythematosus, or lupus and um, my body sees itself as basically like an intruder my immune system's overactive so it goes in and it attacks my my organs um, the main thing that it has attacked has been my eyes um, it's attacked that it's attacked my pituitary gland my lungs uh, my kidney to the very slightest degree. I'm not uh, definitely. I'm not up there with the people that had kidney problems. Um, so I shouldn't even say that it's even done anything. I just found out today that one of my tests was showing just a little bit of problem there, but it's nothing to worry about. But mine's it's an autoimmune disease, and I go through chemotherapy. And the first thing people ask me is, well, what kind of cancer do you have? And I always say, I don't have cancer. And then they back off thinking that, oh, well, her illness isn't that bad. Um, my illness is that bad. Um, it's totally taken away my life. I'm disabled. Uh, I re I, I'm on Medicare. I have Medicare, and I'm only 42 years old. Um, I'm homebound. I'm not allowed to drive. Uh, I've got makeup on today, which is very, very rare, and to have my hair fixed. Um, you can go through. I have a daily vlog about my life with lupus. Um, and this is not what I look like. I have about 100 extra pounds on me, 100 pounds due to the medications that I take to try to tame the lupus down. And on my channel page, you can see a picture of me of what I look like before. And it's definitely not my round face or this extra stuff down here. Um, and my belly is extremely swollen. I'm in a wheelchair. Um, I'm not, my walking ability um, has lessened due to steroid myopathy so my muscles have, have basically left the building <laughs> and I'm, I had to learn how to walk all over again and at this point I'm in a wheelchair to do like when we go to church and all that around the house um, I use a walker but they've just made me go back into a wheelchair because I fall down so much um, the chemotherapy I receive is what they treat breast cancer with. I have a port in my chest, um, I, and I do chemotherapy every other week, and I've done it every other week for the past four years. I'm really, I'm not supposed to have my hair, but I think when I cried out to God, he listened and he spared me my hair. <laughs> but it's definitely not the hair I used to have. And my stylist, he can cut it to where it covers up the bald patches and everything. So it does pretty... I, I have hair and I'm thankful for that. Um, I've slowly gone downhill. I have a 21-year-old son and... I want to live. 
I want to live to meet my daughter-in-law, whom I've been praying for for the past 13 years. I don't know who she is, but one day she'll be my daughter. I want to see my son's accomplishments. I want to continue to train him up him to be in a godly man. Um, I'm 42. I'm in the prime of my life. And my husband's my caretaker. He has to help me bathe. He has to cook my meals and bring them to me. And we should be traveling. We should be having the time of our lives. Yet, this past week, we went to Chicago. I went to the Northwestern Medical University Memorial, a bunch of words, and I met with a doctor um, to do a stem cell transplant. Um, it's in the clinical trial phase, but so far, all the results have been good. And the deal is, is you have to be sick enough to qualify, but not so sick that I can't recover and that I would pass away. And so I went from doctor to doctor to doctor, test, poke, prod, scan, all of those kind of fun things this last week. And I did qualify for the stem cell transplant. And it's like, it's not right to be so happy that you're going to be put in the hospital and go through a three-month process to totally kill off your body, to reboot it, to reset it, to have your life again. But that's where I'm, I'm happy, I'm scared, I'm excited, I'm worried. Every little emotion. It's like, what is this going to put my husband through? My son. Our finances. Because we got to be there for three months. And I found out today. Because I'm not in the hospital the whole time. And I have to be so close to the hospital. And it's downtown Chicago. Um, the minimum rent rate is two thousand dollars a month plus we got to keep up our mortgage in our home but through God all things are possible and I'm doing this not only for myself I want to live again I want to be able to help others more I'm a I love to give and we are blessed to be a blessing. I want to be able to go have fun and do things with my husband. He deserves that his wife, that, that we can go out and have fun. I can't even make it into a restaurant anymore. I can't set up that long. And I'm usually too sick. Because the chemotherapy comes so often, you know, I don't have time to bounce back. And uh, anyway, my time is about up. <laughs> I only get 10 minutes on a video. But I wanted to let you know, I wanted to talk to you because you're a person, you're not in my shoes, but you're in shoes that understand what I'm going through. And pray for us. Keep us in your prayers. Have fun in Singapore. Have enough fun for me. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll come and visit you. I love watching you guys' vlog. Go check mine out. Learn a little bit more about lupus. And maybe you can help teach. And pray for me because I'm going to need it. This process is going to be hard. Love you, Callie.